So I thought I'd just do a, a little update. Um, as you see, I've just um, I've been spraying it with a a cheap sprayer from Screwfix, which I did one coat. Um, I've done a couple of coats, and then the third coat is. It covers well, it's good for the undercoat, but I think for doing the final finish, it's not really something I'm going to do. So what I've done is, I've just done the first coat of bathroom paint on the ceiling. Um, and I've done it inside. And then I've painted inside there and the sides with the bathroom paint as well. I haven't painted over the trims, they're just undercoat at the minute, because what I'm going to do is... The doors are all going to be the same colour as the trims on the corners and the ceiling. And then I'm going to do the kitchen cabinet one colour along with the cabinetry across the front. And then the edges there and the bathroom. And then a colour for the, all the walls. Obviously the kitchen I haven't undercoated because it's going to have some sort of tile effect backing on that. <clears throat> Worktop I've not got all the new dining table because it's one big sheet and there's no point in me putting it or cutting it until the painting's done because I don't want to paint it. I'm going to have this seal it or stain it. Um, so obviously I don't want paint scratches on. But so far that's my first coat. That's where that lump is in the scene. You can still see it and I can't get rid of it. Um, it's just going to be one of them things I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, that's the first coat on the ceiling done. Little change, I've cut the post off. I'm going to put a another thickness of this above as like a guard so you don't roll out of bed because I'll need a piece there as well. Not one on the bottom and certainly not one on the floor. So it was just with me trying to get in and out. Um, it's too hard with the post in the way. At least now you can use the actual bed frames as a step ladder. Um, and then if that's only there, I can cut it off more and make it all nice and fancy. So we'll see what this dries like tomorrow. And that little black spot keeps coming through. So I'm gonna probably gonna have to get some um, stain block to go over that. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna need something in the bottom of there as well. But see you on the next coat. So this is after the first coat of the wall paint. Um, I've gone for grey. There's going to be a darker grey and then like a silvery, metallic-y trim colour. Same on the ceiling with the silver trims. So first, first coat of tough, unwashable paint. Um, I didn't mix it very well, that's why it's quite thin in places. Um, kitchen obviously not done, but all the bunks are. I haven't painted the wall under this section in grey I'm going to use the ceiling paint the bathroom paint just on the walls under there same with the walls in there when I put the shelf brackets in um, but yeah first coat of grey for the walls kickboards there trims again will be the silver there um, I've just done around the door so I can paint around there properly um, I can't remember what size it was, 44mm by 6mm um, timber, like this. Basically I measured where I wanted it to cover, I clamped it on and then on the back of the frame I, I drew the line on it. Um, I did actually bring it 5mm further out to draw the line so that it was roughly on the edge of this silver trim here. I'm going to put a bead of sealant or something around that edge once it's all painted. Um, but yeah, you do it 5mm further than what you want it, so that you can put it back to where you do want it and it'll be 5mm, which was the thickness of this silver bit here. Um, and then I've cut and sanded it all nice and curved because it's um, quite square edged. But I've done it quite curved now, it just needs to go over the filler. Um, not done at the bottom but where the floor goes on it it'll cover some of it if not i can do something so yeah that's uh painting wall stage one once i've done another coat or two depending on how it covers then i'll go and get the darker gray which i'm using for the bathroom the kitchen 
and the top locker the window covers on all three um, yeah that's it so this is second coat on the walls that's dry um, looks quite nice actually um, but it does need another coat um, you can see it in places so it might not have needed a third coat if I stirred the paint the first time but it certainly needs a third coat here so that's the next one so this is after the third coat on the walls which I think I'm pretty happy with seem to have covered quite well there yeah, grey um, picked up the grey for the bathroom and kitchen now which I'm going to do a quick one coat see if what it covers like with a proper stir this time hopefully it'll only need two coats but it's only 20 past 9 in the morning so hopefully I might get a couple on today and then I can go and get the trim paint tomorrow because they didn't have it in that shop I went in so that's uh, one coat of the tough um, some bits are covered better than others because I went over it um, just before I finished that's why you can see through that one and not so much on that one but I think it is mainly to do with the undercoat um, it's an acrylic undercoat which I think it doesn't let it soak on as much so you're basically pulling it off when you're rolling it um, but yeah we've gone for a dark grey it's called pure grey just for the toilet and the kitchen and then the the uh, curtain covers and etc like so a bit of a contrast but that's the first coat now I'm going to do the second coat so that's um, coat two done um, it does need another coat as you can see you can see it's slightly coming through so the third coat will be yeah, I think starting to look nice now. So time to do the third coat. So I think I finished the main um, painting. Um, the only thing I've got left to do is all the trims, the kickboards, panels, and the doors for the kitchen. Um, three coats of tough and washable paint on the cabinets and on the walls um, I need to order a silver trim that goes across all the little edges of the fin ply I need to go and pick up the paint for the trims I'm not sure what colour whether it's going to be metallic silver or a copper um, silver if I go silver route then obviously silver trim um, and I can get a chrome tap which is the route I'm thinking or I can go for copper trim, copper tap but as it stands that's the painting done it might not be perfect in a few places that ceiling lump is annoying me but there's nothing I can do about it because I don't know why it ever did that um, I've just put on the trims for the kitchen sides I was going to do it after the worktops in but Obviously I want to paint the trims, I'm going to paint the trim the same colour as the edge in here, up the side so it all matches and fancy. But yeah, I was going to put the trims in after the worktops on, but I haven't ordered it and I don't want to get paint on it, so trims are going first. Um, it's the same measurement either side, so and it's level, so that's my main thing. So next thing is trims, and then that's the painting done. So I don't know what my last video was, um, probably the trims on the kitchen, but I've dug all the doors out, I've filled, well taken all the old handles and hinges off, so the other screws were rusted in or wouldn't come out so I had to grind them off. Um, that door I'm going to be around the other way so I've had to fill some holes. So all of them have been filled and sanded, I just need to go and put the edging trim on the two doors I, or one I cut down and one I made. So I need to stick the edging trim on 
Um, and then I will undercoat the doors with a roller so that I can paint the doors and do the trims at the same time, saving paintbrushes, etc. And um, there's also the edge trim and the seat bases to do in the same. Um, yeah, that's it. So I've just um, finished sanding the doors. I've um, put the trim on the new door and then around the base of the old door that I cut down. Sanded them all um, back and front and sides and the corners nice and smooth. So now it's just a case of undercoating them before I can put the final coat on. So this is the door I made, um, last night I stuck on a cabinet trim, same as what I've done on the kitchen sides, and then it's very hard to find one that's paintable, but on the reviews it's said that as long as you sand it, it'll key to it. Um, so I've got a join at the bottom, I think this is the top, a join in the middle of the bottom there, and then you basically stick iron on the edge and cut it back same as high as the board and then you just I've just sanded the edges to make it smooth so it's not sharp to touch
So the painting's now finished, um, apart from the bathroom door. I haven't really done many videos with the painting, as you can see. Um, but you don't really need to see me paint. Um, I've gone for copper metallic um, paint for the trims, as you can see. Corn trims, side panels and the cupboard doors for the kitchen. And the front locker and the bathroom door when I actually finished the bathroom door. That's the only thing I haven't painted in the copper so far. Um, let's go in. So we've gone for a lighter grey on the main walls. And then a dark grey for the kitchen and the bathroom walls. And then the curtain covers, front locker, curtain cover. And then the curtain cover there. I was going to go for a silver metallic trim, but I just thought it'd get lost. Whereas this, it gives you a bit more of a statement. Um, I've just gone around touching up the edges where the masking tape didn't go very well. All the doors up there painted. I haven't painted the backs though. Um, haven't painted the backs because what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, vinyl wrap the backs because um, I'm going to be vinyl wrapping the, the the actual main door. Um, I'm not sure what colour yet. I might just go for a box stand white to go with the inside as well as the roof. Um, the door will be wrapped in something similar, something similar to the floor which I've been to look for. So yeah. The, just need to wrap the back of the doors and then that will be the kitchen and all the stuff ready um, to go. Um, I like it. I just need to wipe down a few places where dust has happened, where I've sanded it and then been doing a few other bits. But I think it stands out quite well. Um, I just need to order the trims to go around all the ply bits. Um, I've only seen it in brass or silver. So I don't know whether to get it in one of them and then spray paint it copper, hopefully. So it all matches. I don't think a silver trim will go. I feel like it'd be a bit random. I also painted the edges of the seat lockers. The kitchen drawers already in look. Just need to stick the handles on, which I'm going to spray silver. The same as the window stays. Just to give it a bit of contrast. 